Hello, I'm gonna make a quick video before I go home and show what I've been up to. So, how do you do this? The little seating area outside. Here is the window. I'm on 11th Street between Avenue B and C, which is hard to believe. It is so clean and safe and lovely. <sighs> when you go in, uh, the dolls are all facing the door, well, most of them. Uh, there's a poem that is going across the walls. It's one poem. It says, I'm from honking cars and rattling windows. Is the window. I'm from loud music bass and the hum of a sewing machine. I'm from rhythmic clanging of seasons being mashed up and voices yelling up to windows. Here are my dolls here. I'm from climbing over fences, chasing cats and secretive women. And this area here is the <clears throat> family portraits and pictures and this is uh, these are my grandmother's dolls they are spiritual the small one you can put in your pocket to protect you and the medium sized one you can put in your purse and keep it open a little bit so she can listen here's a little one and then the medium one you keep your purse to open up a little bit and then the um, big ones you would have them facing the door they reflect negativity back out of the door that's their job and they're guardians they're kind of like the queen on a chess game where you know she has a lot of mobility and you have to go through her to get a lot of things done <clears throat> they all have all their anatomical pieces he has all of his anatomical pieces and they have nipples and everything and there's one that uh, is a timeless concept where they have a purse and they have no breasts, they have pants on. So it's a, something, another gender. And they're meant to reflect humanity and humanity is meant to reflect back. <clears throat> so that's why they have all their pieces because if they don't have all their pieces, then humanity suffers so that's the intention placed into them and um, this is my grandmother here these two this is her goddaughter she became her godmother when she was six years old they come from a town in Guayama that's literally the city of witches and I think that's awesome <laughs> and uh, they made dolls here in New York and um, used to help people and do things in Coney Island and uh, most likely it's you know because you're also given <clears throat> offerings to the ocean but uh, I mean it's still Coney Island though so that's pretty cool and this aunt she also had um, the kind of gypsy Puerto Rican practice in the Lower East Side where she sold dolls and did uh, helped people in uh, storefronts in, in the East Village with her brother. And uh, that's pretty amazing. And this is a picture of them young and the rest of my family and their, their descendants, including myself. And I thought it was a fine time to continue something so primal on here since all of the things in this room are made in New York. <laughs> so the uh, country stuff going on in a metropolitan setting and I am super excited to be part of that <clears throat> so each of these dolls have a story too and there's always so much more to share and I do hope you make it down before it closes because this, this um, venue is so perfect for them they look great it would be great to see you.